And welcome back. Our next guest founded his own photography business as an outlet to navigate the terrain of grief after the untimely death of his brother due to gun violence. He realized the importance of photographs in times of grief and how they help us recall special moments. And here now to share more information is the founder of Sonard Flicks Photography, Sherrod J. Bates. And uh, Sherrod, I want to thank you for joining us. And uh, you've actually done a great job in your own life of turning pain into purpose when you take photography and you use it now uh, to help those in the area of grief. And uh, as I said in the, in the intro, that a lot of this really comes uh, after the death of your brother. Give me a little bit after the death of your brother, because uh, what was life like for you? Well, immediately following the death, you know, of my brother, me and my loved ones, we tried to gather photographic memories of my brother, and there weren't many. Um, in addition to the way that, you know, that he passed, um, I was met with a lot of frustration when it came to that. But I, I decided to use a little better judgment and um, take some of those misplaced emotions and gear it towards helping other families fill the void that I was left with. So for your, when it comes to photography and getting involved in it, how long were you involved in photography? Prior to then, I was not involved in photography at all. <laughs> I, um, I have a can-do spirit. I've always been injected by that, you know, by my dad at a young age. And I figured that if I, if I can see it, then I can achieve it. So that was my motivation at the time. And for yourself, and I don't mean to Excuse cut me. you, but for, for yourself, you know, you, you say, I want my photography to have a purpose. And that is really helping people who've experienced grief to be able to see photography and help in the grief process and also the healing process. For yourself, how do you make grief, uh, the photography a part of grief heal and healing? Well, you know, all in all, these memories are very, very priceless. So in, in the process of, I know that, uh, you know, our demise is inevitable. So um, I, I, have, I found a great uh, deal of joy of doing uh, birthday celebrations and just celebrations where family get, get together. And those moments you can see where people haven't seen each other in a while, you know, in their place of joy and happiness. And it's my job. You know, it's my duty. I believe that it's part of my purpose to make sure that I catch, capture those moments because those are the ones that's going to matter when we aren't here in, anymore in a physical form. When you capture those moments, it's really part of telling a narrative, a story, uh, and Indeed. you want that story. You want that story to actually be told. How do you define for yourself uh, helping to tell that story? Because the work that you're doing, you're taking for you know, you're taking these photographs. You're helping people through grief. You're also helping people through life. But you're also preserving some things too for people to be able to have as a keepsake forever. Indeed, indeed. You know, storytelling is a big part of, uh, you know, my motivating forces. Um, you know, our history will be detailed. It will be told. How it will be told? You know, it's up to us in the, in the media. And I believe that I have the power of medium, even if it's, if it's in a different um, form in photography, yet it will tell a story for those following so you yourself are self-taught. That's amazing. I mean, a lot of people are self-taught these days, but when you take self-taught to a place where actually you form your own business, you got it moving, you got people who are coming to you saying, listen, I want you to, you know, I want you to also help me with, 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 my, with my pictures and then also be able to tell the story. Um, what amazes you about the whole process? Because now here you are using your grief and you're using it to help somebody else. What amazes me most is, you know, um, building a business is uh, a daunting task, you know, especially when you have limited experience prior to. Uh, but the portion that amazes me most is when I try to remove myself or remove the business so we can rebrand re and regather ourselves, you know, to um, handle the influx of those that find value in the things that, that the company does. And even in those times of breaks, I have families that are just constantly reaching out because they feel that it is pertinent that, that I be there to take these pictures or the company to be there. Is there a favorite time of the year for you when it comes to picture taking? Well, our company also does, we do school photography as well. 
So um, usually, you know, that the holiday times, you know, the, the, the usual the usual times of Christmas and um, Thanksgiving and then the springtime comes around. I mean, but to be honest, or any time to take a picture is a great time for me. That's a good thing. So for yourself, what advice do you give to somebody who's had a similar experience? I mean, we've talked to a couple people today on the show who've had, you know, whether it's traumatic, uh, you know, traumatic gunshots or dealing with gun violence and things like that. What's your message to people about finding an alternative path, especially after being through a life-altering experience such as you've been? Well, for me personally, um, this is my loved one. And I would suggest to any loved one who has experienced a loss under those circumstances, the thing that I admire the most in the attributes and the characteristics of that individual that I lost, I try very, very hard to continue those characteristics in myself. You know, so if they were high on honor, I um, I challenged myself to be more honorable. And um, the list can go on, but I'll leave it at that. I try to take most of the stronger characteristics of that person that I lost and, you know, c continue that. It's an amazing story. And for people who want uh, to know more about your photography, talk to them about how they can get in touch with you if they want you to use you for a photo shoot or, you know, come out to an event. Well, social media, all social media platforms, uh, Sonar Flix Photography, um, S-O-N-N-A-R-D, Flix Photography. Uh, it's just as simple as that. I know most people... You know, that's more their immediate means to get access to some individuals. But our website is www.sonarflixphotography.com. And um, thank you. Yeah. Before we go, I know you covered a lot of celebrities. Uh, favorite one to photography, you know, the cover as far as photography is concerned? Most memorable? Truthfully, I mean, I'm from the Bronx. Um, I admire all means of um, of art, so I love hip hop as well. So anytime I take a shot of a Bronx artist like Remy Ma, I took pictures of Remy Ma not too long ago at the Apollo. That was it. That was exciting for me. And her husband Papoose was there as well, and their beautiful child. So that was um, that was dope for me. Well, keep up the great work. Good to have you, Sherrod. We want to let you know Sherrod Bates, who is the founder of Sonar photography and want to let you know sonar, sonar flicks i should say photography make sure yeah. that you get in contact with him now if you want more information visit the website sonarflixphotography.com then follow him on instagram at sonarflixphotography